안녕하세요. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. <laughs> I guess I don't know what that was. I'm waiting for my viewers to log in. Uh, you might hear my kids playing outside. I'm in my garage again. I haven't, I haven't been promoted yet, so I'm still in my garage. So just don't mind it if you hear um, my kids playing outside. So if you saw this picture, 친구들 안녕. 친구 means friend. 들 is plural, and then 안녕 is hi or bye. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm hearing um, chess tournament in the background. Let me, let me mute it. Um, I don't know how to mute this. But I'll just keep going. Maybe I'll mute my computer. Okay. Hopefully, that takes care of the noise. I'm getting calls. Everyone wants me now. I don't know why. Okay. So, um, 친구들 안녕. Welcome. I'm going to go over last lesson first, and then we'll do compound vowels today. So. So far, lesson one, we've covered consonants, simple consonants. Lesson two, vowels, simple vowels. Lesson three was compound consonant, which is more than one consonant together. So I kind of taught you how to read uh, or pronounce those things. And today will be double or compound vowels. I say compound because it might be more than one vowel. Okay, so first, I'm going to write what Korea might be known for. And you can try to read it. And then you could think if you trial, you like it. Shiroyo. Should I dislike it? Or maybe Mulayo. You don't know what it is. Okay. So I'll write the first. So I'll write it and then you can practice reading it while I'm writing it. You know what that is? Tobot, Tobot, Joel, Shiroyo, Bolayo. You know what this is, Tobot? It's a cartoon, Korean cartoon. It's called T O B O T. I think that's how you uh, type it into watch it on YouTube. It's about robots, cars that turn into robots. It's cool. It's fun. It's for kids, but it's fun. Robot and they have uh, toys. Robot toys. Okay. What about? Ooh, I like this one. Tteokbokki. Tteokbokki. Tteok rice cake. Bokki is like stir fry, and it's usually spicy stir fry rice cake. Twelve. 싫어요? 몰라요? I like it. It's a childhood favorite. 떡볶이. Okay. This one. It was around for a while, but recently became popular because of a movie. Okay. Try to read it. 짜파구리, 짜파구리. So this, if you know the movie Parasite, which won many, many awards, right? 
it was in that movie, but it, it was kind of known um, on the internet. So it's a mixture of japagetti. There's a instant uh, noodle named japagetti. Tastes like black bean noodles. And then guri is from noguri. It's a spicy uh, instant noodle soup. So if you mix the two, it becomes japaguri. Okay, so I don't know if you've tried it. Try it. Shiroyo? Mulai? Okay. This one, I'm sure everybody knows. Okay. This. Maybe it's too old. Oh, I'm running out of space. Oops. I'm running out of space. Okay, that's the title of the song. And then that's the singer. Oppa Gangnam Style by Sai. This became a YouTube sensation, right? So you should all know this. Okay, so that's what we covered last time the double consonants and. Um, we also did compound consonants where two different types of consonants come together. So let me reread this to you so you can refresh your memory of how to pronounce it. Okay, I read this last time, but I'll read it again. Omaga, salmon duck, soup duck, chin pangel, mandushotta. Appanen, chua hashimyo, anjaso. 드셨고 오빠는 훑어 보고는 좋아하는 꿀떡은 없고 맛 없는 쑥떡만 있다고 얼굴을 찌푸리며 싫다고 했다. Okay, so this is what we're going to learn today. Where did that vowel come from, right? It's a vowel, write them for you. So what plus what becomes what. And I'll explain what they sound like, okay? And where to put them, okay? So first is A plus E, okay? Becomes E, E. So this is like when you say make, Eh, eh, me, eh, 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 eh. Okay, and of course, this is a vowel and it has vertical lines, so the consonant will go here on the left side, right? So, a ah plus e is a. Eh. Okay, next one, ya plus e is ye, yeah, ye. Yeah. So, like when you say ye, 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 okay. And of course, the consonant will go to the left of it also. Okay, next one is O plus E is E, like when you say egg. Wait a minute, I thought this was E. E, E. There's very, very subtle difference. Don't worry about it. Just know how to pronounce it because um, if you're unsure, wait, is this? Written as AI or OI, if you don't remember, it's okay. Even native Korean always get those two mixed up. So don't worry about getting the spelling right. Just know how to recognize the sound. Okay. Next one is YO plus E. Ye. What? I thought this was Ye. So again, they sound very similar, just very uh, slight difference, but again, don't worry. Just know how to pronounce them. E, ye, e, ye. Okay. Next one. So all of these, the consonant goes to the left side. Okay, so let me put the consonant so you know. Like here, you put it here. Okay. Next one is O. Plus A is wa wa like when you say waikiki waikiki wa 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 
Do you put the continent right there? Okay. Next one is O plus E. Where? Where? Where, like when you say went, the continent goes right there. Where? 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 Okay. Next one is O plus O. Make sure you tuck that underneath the O, okay? And the consonant will go right here. O, O. Say O and O together really fast. O, 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 O. Yes, that's what it sounds like. O. Like when you say walrus. Okay? Walrus. Okay? Um, next one is O plus E. And the consonant goes right there. Say U and E together really fast. We, yeah, we. That's what it sounds like. We, like when you say wiki, we, we, we. Okay. Next one is a little tricky, but we'll go through it together. U plus E, and you will put the uh, consonant right there. So this has three different sounds depending on what the word is. <gasps> Don't panic. So usually, U plus E, Uisa. Uisa means doctor. Uisa. So you pronounce it as Ui. Ui. Uisa. But if it's Ui, which means um, like an apostrophe S, like a possessive. So in the beginning, I um, put Chingu, right? Chingu is friend. So let's say. Um, Ororo, 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 and then this, Chingu. So in this case, this is Ororo's friend, okay? Could be like what? Rupi, Kobi, Krong, right? They're all Ororo e Chingu. So in this case, it sounds like e, e, okay? Pororo e, so you don't say pororo ui. When you speak, you say pororo e, okay? So it almost sounds like this one, but it's written this way. So this this acts like apostrophe s, right? Pororo e chingu, pororo's friend, okay? So that e, so this sounds like e, this sounds like so this one sounds like ui, ui. This, so this sounds like e. Now, if there's another consonant in there, uh, for example, here, ui. This sounds like e sound. Like this would be he, he. Confusing? No, you got it. You're smart. So three different pronunciation depending on what kind of word it is. Okay. Uh, okay. Two more. These are three vowels in one, but don't panic. You can do this. Okay. So O plus A plus E is we. The consonant goes right there. We. We. We like when you say whale. Whale. And way, way means why. I'm sure you watching right now like to say this a lot. Wah, why? Wah. Your mom, don't do that. <laughs> okay. So way like whale. And then last but not least, u plus all plus e. Way. This is also way. These two sound similar, but don't worry. Way and way. It's okay. Okay, so way like when you say quest, where, where, where. Okay, so let's go over the sounds again. A, you can repeat after me. A, okay. Yeah. A, yeah. Wa, where, wall. We, 
So in this case, if it's an eel and it's a part of a word, ui, ui sa, right? Ui. And this one as a possessive, like apostrophe s, sounds like e, e. And this, if it has a different consonant in there, not eel, is e sa, right? So this is he, he. Okay. Way, way, and way. Okay. So now, hope you have did. Hope you had dinner already. Did you have dinner? I had my dinner, so I'm ready for this. I'm going to write some Korean food on here, and we're we're going to practice reading them. So hopefully, after this, you know how to. Uh, read menus at Korean restaurant. Okay, so first, this is what I had tonight. Try to read this. Kimchi jjigae. Kimchi jjigae. So kimchi, you know what kimchi is, right? Jige, jige is stew, so stewed kimchi. Okay. Next one. Ooh, this is one of my favorite favorite food. So my mom used to make this for me on my birthday. My favorite soup. Yukgejang. So this is the same k, right? Yukgejang, and this is spicy beef soup. Mm, yummy. Has like veggies in there and you put rice in there and so you get them. Okay. Next one. Ooh, all of these happen to be spicy food, but Korean food is not all spicy. People think Korean food is all spicy. It's not so. Okay. This is my husband's favorite food. But can you read that? It has three vowels, right? Peji, peji, peji means pig. Okay, peji, bulgogi, bulgogi. So you know bulgogi, right? It's like barbecue meat. So peji bulgogi. So it's pork barbecue meat. It's that spicy one. Yummy. It's good if you. So the way I make it, I I first make it as is, and then eat it with rice and other side dishes. The next day, if I have leftover, I put kimchi in there, and then uh, steam some tofu, and then eat it together. That's called tubu kimchi. It's really good. Okay, next one. Hope you had dinner because you might start getting hungry if I keep talking about food. <laughs> okay, try to read that. That's two chiu, right? Jim. Ooh, there's two consonants on the bottom. Which one do I pronounce? Okay, pronounce this one. The kyok. Jim duck. Jim duck. Duck is chicken. So in English, I know there's a different word for the animal and the meat. In Korean, we use the same word. So whether they're alive or dead, <laughs> we use the same word. So peji means pig, right? So we say pig barbecue. So in this case, chicken. So live chicken, that chicken same. Jim means um, like steamed or stewed, so or braised. So jim duck is braised chicken. Usually this is made with uh, soy sauce and there those thin glass noodles in there, potatoes, all the root vegetables. And if you like it spicy, you put some spicy pepper in there. So it looks not spicy because it's not red, but you eat it and. It kicks you in a good way. Yum, yum. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a long one, but I know you can read this. Uh, six words, six syllables. Okay. Double pew. Pyo, ta, u. There's the u and the e, so we. Pyo, da, gi. Yotagi means bone. He jang kuk. So literally it means hangover soup. <laughs> but 
It's just a soup with bean paste base and bone broth. So bone broth, you put bean paste and put like greens in there. And it, usually when you go uh, to the restaurant, they give it to you in a hot stone pot. And it's hot. Like you put your rice in there and it's temperature hot until you finish it. It's really good. It's really refreshing. That's why they call it hangover soup because I guess when people have hangover and they have the soup, it makes them feel better. I don't know. I just eat it for the taste. Okay. <laughs> Next one. This is, oh, do you hear the car going by? <laughs> so my mom used to make this really well. It was really refreshing. So this is K. K means crab. Jige. Remember jige? Like kimchi jige? Jige means stew. So crab stew. K jige. It has crab and uh, daikon radish in there. It's really refreshing. So notice these two sound the same. K and K. K jige. But still, through context, you know which one you're talking about. Although this word by itself, if this was by itself, it means dog. So sometimes you don't know if the person is saying K, the crab, or K, dog. But you just know by context, right? If you have a pet K, usually people don't have crab as their pet. You might, but usually it's the puppy, the dog, right? Okay, next one. I made this recently and my daughter loves it. Might be good for you to drink this now. So if you go to a Korean restaurant at the end of the meal, they might bring you a drink, and it's one of these two. So it might be sujanggua. This is made by boiling uh, cinnamon and ginger together, and they add honey. And sometimes, if it's done right, they uh, put sliced dry persimmon in it. So when you, as you're drinking it, it softens up. And then you drink it and you eat the soft and dry persimmon. It's yummy. And if you drink it now, it's good for you because it has ginger and cinnamon. It might uh, make you healthier and help you fight coronavirus. Okay. So sujong, this means crystal. And then kwa, uh, it could be drink or fruit. So this is like a crystal. You're drinking crystal. It's really pretty red, deep red color. So like you're drinking um, drinking crystal or gem right so if you want some of this come to my house okay so if the restaurant doesn't give you sujongkwa they might give you this shikke shikke okay shikke shikke is that drink with rice floating Okay. You, you probably had that at a Korean restaurant. Usually they give you this, but sometimes they give you sujongga. And if you go to Jimjirbang, have you been to Jimjirbang? That's um, like a sauna or spa uh, place where it has like different rooms with different temperature and each room has different uh, kind of wall. Okay, So if you go there, they have, um, it's almost like slushy, chike slushy. So you go into a hot room and come out, you're all hot and sweaty. You drink that chike with this ice slush on top. It's really refreshing. Mm. Okay. This one, maybe you might not be able to have it everywhere, but it exists. I believe this is a North Korean style. So can you read that? So double gyok. And ooh and all, oh, right? So, kuang, kuang, kuang is pheasant, the bird. Kuang, mandu. The so mandu is dumpling, so pheasant dumpling. So in North Korea, um, they don't have a lot of other kinds of meat, so this might be more traditional way to make uh, mandu. Kuang mandu, so pheasant dumpling. They have it in South Korea too. Okay. Ooh, I had this tonight. And actually, I have a recipe for this one in one of my videos. I think it's the side dish one. So read that. Keran. Keran is um, egg. 
okay? Keram mari. Keram mari. So this is rolled omelet, okay? So keram, egg, and then mari means uh, rolled. Keram mari. Okay. This is also something very unexpected, but it's still Korean food. Pude, pude, chige. So chige, you know by now that it's stew, some kind of soup. Pude literally means uh, military base. So base stew, huh? You know which one I'm talking about? So depending on the restaurant, they might have it as army stew, or I've seen a name that's GI stew in English. So Korea, uh, after the Korean War, when the U.S. was still um, there to help rebuild the country, South Korea, um, it was pretty poor, right? Korea was pretty poor after the war. Um, a lot of orphans, a lot of starving people. And because they were short on food, the U.S. bases, military bases, um, all the food scraps, leftover food scraps, they will throw it out, and there will be people collecting the food scraps and then because regular people they were too poor they couldn't they they couldn't just eat anything right they could even eat trash so just to disinfect they would boil this boil all the leftover food scraps from the military base and then they will sell it you know to people who are starving so you can imagine there are some leftover sausages in there maybe some i don't know baked beans and corn and all the leftover food in there. So they were all boiled together. So um, they recreated that food, but in a more edible way, not leftover food, but they actually take spam, sausage, uh, canned corn, maybe even baked beans. Some people put cheese in there too and put uh, ramen, any kind of noodle in there and kimchi and some spices and boil it. And it's really, really good. So they're, they actually sell this at restaurants, and I make it at home too. It's really good. And uh, Anthony Bourdain, you know, the uh, late Anthony Bourdain, uh, he actually introduced this menu too. So uh, you can Google it, and you can even try it at home. Pude jjigae. Okay. Pude jjigae. Okay. This food, a lot of, uh, I notice a lot of my Chinese coworkers like this. Tam, remember this one is same. Ke, ke, tam ge tang. So this word is actually derived from Chinese. So I told you uh, in the very beginning that uh, Korea used Chinese characters in the beginning when we didn't have our own words. So a lot of words also come from Chinese. So tam in this case uh, is jin thing. Okay, tam. And ke is chicken. So in this case, ke ra means chicken egg. In this case, it's just chicken, and then tang, tang is soup. Soup that's usually boiled for a long time is called uh, tang. So ginseng chicken soup, tang get tang. It's the uh, clear one, so this is not spicy. Right? Okay, this is also uh, something my mom used to make. It's a comfort food. Okay, pe chu. Pe chu is uh, the bok choy, the one bok, I guess, the cabbage, napa cabbage, the one you use for kimchi, right? Pe chu, so this is not seasoned, just regular uh, plain uh, napa cabbage. Penjang kuk. Penjang is the fermented bean paste, and kuk is soup. So, Napa cabbage, bean paste, soup. Pechu tenjangku. And Koreans like to put rice in our soup, so it always tastes much, much better. Okay. Next one is another spicy food. A lot of people like to eat this when they're stressed. Okay. So double, two double consonants. Ju. Gu. Mi. Chukumi. Chukumi is baby octopus. Bukum. No, don't eat the baby. No, they're just little, little, little octopus. <laughs> really delicious. 
쭈꾸미 볶음, so stir fried baby octopus, usually um spicy, really really good. Okay, and last one, we need dessert, right? After all this food, especially after you've had something spicy, it's good to have something kind of sweet and refreshing. Okay, 과일, ooh another o a, 과채, 과일 화채. So 과일 means fruit, fruit, and then 화채 is like cocktail, a mixture. So 과일 화채 is usually cut up fruits, and then you make some kind of um. Some people put seven up, or some people put some kind of juice in there, or even. Um, yogurt drink, um, and then it's a fruit cocktail. And sometimes we make it with um, watermelon in the summertime. Subak pache, the kwai pache. So now we cover a lot of food. So you know how to um, read menus at Korean restaurants, hopefully. Okay. So hope you're not too hungry. If you are, go eat something. <laughs> okay. Um, so to review, I was going to go over some. Popular Korean song, but I couldn't decide. At first, I thought, okay, should I go with BTS? And I was reading the lyrics and I was like, oh, I don't know if I want my kids to know this kind of lyric. So then I was going to go over uh, a song by my favorite Korean artist, Crush, Krushi. Um, but I couldn't decide, so I didn't know what people like. So if there's a Korean song that you like. I can go over that next time. So going over means I was going to read to you and then tell you what it means. So because I I know there are uh, translations available online, but I've seen them and they're not very good translations. I'm a translator, trust me. <laughs> so if there's any song that you really want to know what it means and you wanna know how to pronounce it correctly, let me know either. Leave it as a comment, or you can text me. Okay. Or if there's any written Korean that you want me to go over and translate with you, I can do that. I'm a translator. Trust me. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to read you some. I guess bedtime stories. No. These are my kids' uh, book. They have onomatopoeia, so that means the word sounds like the way it sounds. Okay. So. Um, I'll read you two of them. They're kind of like little poems, and you can listen to what they sound like, and I can also teach you what it means. Okay, so I'll read you two of them, and we'll call it a night. Okay, so do you see? There is a clock. Ooh, it's kind of fuzzy. I'll hold it up like this. Okay, checka checka. You saw the clock, so you can imagine. Check up, check up means um, it's the sound of a clock. It's like tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. In Korean, we say tick up, check up. Okay, I gotta read this this way. Let me hold it still. 시계는 참 부지런도 하지. So clock works really hard. Okay. 시계는 참 부지런도 하지. 어서 어서 일어나요. check up, check up. Hurry up and wake up, TikTok. 밥 먹어야죠, 째깍 째깍. It's time to eat, TikTok. 보글보글 양치해요, 째깍 째깍. Brush your teeth, bubble bubble, TikTok. <laughs> it, it might not make sense in English, but it makes sense in Korean. 침대 누우세요, 째깍 째깍. It's time to go to bed, TikTok. 모두가 쿨쿨 잠든 밤에도 even during night time when everyone's sleeping 두눈 반짝 뜨고 째깍 째깍 the clock keeps its eyes away uh, eyes open and goes tip tock tip tock okay so I'll okay people I'll read it one more time so you can pay attention to the sound 시계는 참 부지런도 하지 어서 어서 일어나요. 째깍 째깍. 밥 먹어야죠. 째깍 째깍. 보글보글 양치해요. 째깍 째깍. 침대에 누우세요. 째깍 째깍. 모두가 쿨쿨 잠든 밤에도 두눈 반짝 뜨고 
Tikka, Tikka. So it's a little poetry about、um, how the clock works hard all day, all night, even when people are sleeping. Okay. This one, my two year old likes this. She even likes this food. Okay. This is a poem about、um, Denjang Jige. Denjang is bean paste and then Jige is stew, so bean paste stew. And it's called Bogul Bogul. So Bogul Bogul is a sound of something、um, bubbling, like boiling and bubbling. You can see the soup, Denjang Jige, bubbling and boiling. Okay, I don't know if you can. I don't know why it's so fuzzy. Can you see? Ooh, the quality is not very good.、Uh, okay, maybe farther. No, it's still fuzzy. Closer. Okay, maybe this is better. Okay, if I can hold still. Okay. Bogul Bogul. Nembie. 된장찌개가 보글보글. So that's、um, bean pig stew in the pot is bubbling, bubbling, bubble, bubble. 구수한 감자가 퐁당 보글보글. So add some potatoes and it bubble, bubbles. 반듯 반듯 두부도 퐁당 보글보글. So even、uh, tofu goes in there. And then bubble bubbles. 엎치락 뒤치락 신나게 끓네. So it goes flippity flop. It mixes and it boils.、Ooh. Trying to hold still. <laughs> 보글 보글 맛있는 소리에 침이 꼴깍. So the sound of the bubbling stew or soup makes me.、Uh, Makes me salivate. That's what it means. Okay, let me read it to you one more time. So the title is "Bogul Bogul." 냄비에 된장찌개가 보글 보글. 구수한 감자가 퐁당 보글 보글. 반듯 반듯 두부도 퐁당 보글 보글 보글. Oh, it's 보글 보글, not 보글 보글 here. 엎치락 뒤치락 신나게 끓네. 보글보글 맛있는 소리에 침이 꼴깍. Okay. Sorry if it's a little fuzzy. <laughs> I can let you borrow the book if you want. Okay. So、um, if you have any questions, leave it as a comment.、Um, your homework is to practice writing your name or anybody else's name. So if you already have a Korean name and you know how to write that in Korean, that doesn't count. Because usually, even if people don't know how to write Korean, they know how to like draw their Korean name, right? So that doesn't count. I want you to practice writing your name. So、um, write it, write your American name, okay? Or write other family members' name, American name. Okay, so you can practice how to write. Korean. Okay, so next lesson, we're finally going into some conversation. Now that you are master at reading and writing, right? So、um, I'll probably go live again on Tuesday. So I will see you again on Tuesday. So keep writing and keep reading and stay home and stay safe. Okay. Annyeong. Good night.